In this video, we're going to be talking about different ways to select our objects in our artboard. And here we've got our selection tool or V on keyboard. And here's a concept design that I worked on before. And we can be selecting our objects by drawing selection area like this and adding other objects by holding the shift key and drawing another selection area maybe to select these items and those items and we can be moving them around okay and you can be removing any of these elements out of your selection by holding the shift key again and clicking on any element and it will be removed out of your selection then we've got our direct selection tool in here that will allow us to select our anchor points of any design elements here's for instance we've got this circle and once we select our circle we're gonna be seeing its anchor points and also we can be controlling each of these anchor points separately by selecting that anchor point for instance and drag it anywhere around and same goes on here and here as well and also we can be selecting a single shape within a shape of groups like this one via our direct selection tool like this circle or this one or this one however when we select our selection tool we're going to be selecting the entire group as you can see so if you click outside you're going to be selecting those circles which are grouped or linked together if we right click here we're going to be seeing ungroup option because these elements are grouped to each other and we will be grouping shapes to move them around together like these shapes so anyway we can be selecting only one of these circles via our direct selection tool in here selecting outside or and then select that circle or that circle or that circle and then we can be moving this circle around if we would like or even control an anchor point of that element also here is another tool for selection which is group selection tool we're going to be covering that tool when we start talking about groups in detail and also we've got the lasso tool and this lasso tool will be allowing us to draw a free selection area like this one for instance to select these objects we can be doing that via the lasso tool and also we've got our magic wand tool in here which will allow us to select similar objects and elements in our design artboard if you double click your tool in here you're gonna be seeing your magic wand options you can be selecting similar fill color stroke color stroke weight or opacity or blending mode so by default it's set on fill color which will be allowing us to select similar colors in our artboard and also we can be changing our tolerance in here for a more strict similar color choices or even increase that tolerance color to make it higher and it choose similar colors in harmony so for instance if we start drawing a rectangle like this one and we've got our fill color in here to this color and then we're gonna be duplicating that in here and give it that one and then we're gonna make this one like this one now we've got some color harmonies in here and we're gonna be using our magic wand and select this one and it will be only selecting this one if we increase it all the way to 50 and then we select this one it will be selecting all color harmonies of our orange however if we set this back to 20 or even less we're going to be having a more strict color selection in here and also stroke color weight and opacity has their own tolerance that can be adjusted according to your situation so i'm going to be setting this one back to 20 as it was and let's close our magic wand options and another way here to access our selection is from our menu and here we've got a select tab that can be selecting an object or even all to select all the design elements via command A or control A for windows and we can be doing that command A and it will be selecting everything on our artboard and in order to deselect everything we're going to be pressing command shift A or you can choose it from here if you got anything selected and also if you select all you're gonna be selecting all the elements on all art boards that you've got within your illustrator file however if you select this one you're gonna be selecting all on your active art board like this one 
so if we move around we're gonna be seeing another artboard in here that has our design elements and we can be selecting all these design elements via this option in here all and in order to select all these design elements we're gonna be selecting all on active artboard this one and also we've got three select option to select last selected objects and also we've got inverse to invert your selection so for instance we need to select everything on our artboard except this circle in here so we're gonna be selecting that one then we're gonna be selecting to inverse and we will be having everything selected except that one and in order to deselect you can be clicking anywhere outside or use the shortcut command shift a and let's go to select tab in here then we have the option to select next option above or below and let's see what it means so here we've got this gradient background which i got in a separate layer and we're gonna be talking about layers later in another lesson but let's just say that layers are giving us the opportunity to put our design elements in different layers and we can be arranging them according to our appearance preferences so if we need to put our background at the very bottom of these objects we're gonna be putting that background in a lower layer and we can be opening our layers in here and we're gonna be seeing that layer for our background and that layer here for design elements and I've got our background layer logged as you can see in order to be selecting and moving my elements freely while I got this one fixed in the background but let's unlock this one for a minute in here and let's select our background and now let's say I want to select the first object above our background I'm gonna be moving my artboard a little bit like that and then we're gonna be selecting next object above and then we're gonna be seeing that this object is just above our background in here and same one goes to the other one we'll be selecting our background because it's already below our selected object and we've got our background selected again anyway I'm gonna be locking our background again and close layers then we've got selecting same and this will allow us to select same appearance, blending mode, fill and stroke, fill color, opacity, stroke color, stroke weight. And let's say for instance, we need to select the same fill color like this circle in here. We're going to be selecting this one and select same fill color. We're going to be seeing all these circles having the same gradient color. And also we've got select object in here. So we can be selecting all elements on the same layer or direction handles or even by pressing brush strokes or brush strokes or clipping mask stray points and all these things we're gonna be covering later so you're gonna be more familiar with all these point type objects all text objects and so on and also you can be saving a selection if we would like so let's say we need to select all these three elements and we want to save that selection for a quick access of selecting these elements we can be going to select and save selection from here and we can call this one three circles and let's deselect them and if we need to quickly select these circles we're going to be going to three circles from here and they will be selected and anytime you need to edit or remove that selection you will be doing that from here select and edit selection and you can be changing its name or even delete that selection so these are the different ways to make selections through your artboard so that was Khalil Ibrahim with you and I'll be seeing you in next lesson